like to bring about the day on the former president of World Business School, Professor Antonio Raposa, to give us his opening remarks. Thank you very much. I want, first of all, to thank once again His Excellency, the Italian Ambassador in Nigeria, Mr. Stefano De Leo, along with the Consul General of Lagos, uh, Mr. Hugo Boni, uh, Dr. Anfrey Canazu, the Country Director of Rome Business School, and all the staff, uh, the speakers involved today, and all the participants, both uh, on campus in Lagos and connected online through Zoom, social media, uh, anywhere from Nigeria and in the world. We're very, very proud to be part of this great initiative promoted by the Italian institutions about the Italian design. It's a great occasion to share cultural experiences and once again, create bridges, cultural bridges in this case between uh, Italy and, and Nigeria. As Rome Business School and specifically Rome Business School Nigeria in this case, we are very happy and proud to give our small contribution in terms of uh, education, academic commitment to do so that these two Great countries can talk, can communicate, can share opportunities um, in the beauty of their cultural diversity, of their traditions. But diversity for us, uh, it's a source of value. Uh, that's why we think that being an international business school with students from 150 countries is an added value. We live in the global era. Uh, therefore, connecting people, connecting organizations, connecting countries and cultures It's absolutely something that enriches the learning journey of our students and the general community uh, around business, uh, Rome Business School. I want to say that this initiative is a great example of combination, fantastic combination between the institutional diplomacy and the cultural diplomacy. Obviously, the, the presence, the commitment of the ambassador, of the consul general, It's a great sign of the contribution that the Italian institutions are doing also today to do so that Italy and Nigeria can thrive together, can prosper, can find a way to uh, create opportunities for the reciprocal countries and, and people. And from our small uh, perspective as Rome Business School, we are working on a daily basis for the cultural diplomacy. So through our training through our uh, constant connections with the corporate environment, both in Italy, in Nigeria, and internationally. Once again, we are trying to create bridges in an era where still we see too many walls, but we believe that communicating, integrating in the reciprocal respect of all the diversity, once again, is a source of value. It's something that can make the economy, the society progress, Uh, thrive and creating a better world uh, altogether. Uh, from this perspective, in terms of cultural diplomacy, Rome Business School is heavily committed to train better managers for a better world. So managers and also entrepreneurs that on one hand can be better than the average in terms of skills and competencies, but also for a better world because like I was saying, we strongly believe that through our students and alumni, Um, we can have a positive impact on the society and making the world a little bit better. Uh, in order to do so, we give to all our students some content module, modules and perspectives regarding social responsibility, business ethics, uh, circular economy, and more in general, we try to give a vision, a perspective um, of positive approach to the global era, where with the expansion of our horizons, of our mental horizons, we can seize all the opportunities created by this unique time, this unique era of our history, where for the first time we're all connected. And like today, I'm speaking from, from Rome, and other speakers are connected from Rome. You are in Lagos or Abuja or anywhere in the world, but basically we are a unique global community. And Going to the focus of today's initiative, so the celebration of the Italian design, um, I'm really proud to say that as Rome Business School and Rome Business School in Nigeria, we're doing our best to promote everything which is connected to the Made in Italy, that itself is a strong brand, one of the strongest brands in the world. We do so by including in our academic portfolio programs that are specifically related to the key areas Uh, of the Made in Italy, like fashion and design, fashion, luxury management, food and beverage management, 
arts and culture management, and tourism and hospitality management. So these contents, these programs uh, accompany and integrated by more traditional uh, programs like business administration, marketing, and human resources management are all aimed at uh, creating uh, managers and entrepreneurs that can thrive in the global era. But we are very, very happy and proud to bring a little bit of the Made in Italy with our classes, with our training to, to the world, Nigeria, Africa, and all the, the continents. The Italian design is a synonymous for craftsmanship, for innovative design, uh, for attention to details, and for beauty. It's having, and it's had an incredible impact in many areas, uh, among them furniture, fashion, obviously, uh, industrial design. Our speakers, our experts today will, will tell more about this. From my perspective, I want to, uh, simply to say that we are trying to integrate this attention to details, this innovative perspective, and this sensitivity for beauty also in our educational activity. So we're trying to do our best in order to ensure that these values of innovation, quality, attention to details can be um, delivered in our academic activities. In addition to that, I'm very happy to, to share with you that one of the key values of the Rome Business School is of being a humanistic business school. Humanism is uh, one of the most important cultural and historical heritage of Italy for the world, which from a, an educational and management education perspective means that we want to train uh, excellent managers, excellent entrepreneurs and professionals that don't simply have technical skills and advanced managerial skills, but also uh, soft skills that can help them to be uh, men and women of the global era equipped to seize all the opportunities created by this environment. That's why in our classes, we also give training about communication, emotional intelligence, uh, teamwork, leadership, because once again, based on the humanistic perspective, we want to train not simply the manager or the entrepreneur, but the human being. And so we are very proud to celebrate also this approach uh, to education, which is a source, which is also inspired by the Italian design, by the Made in Italy heritage, and referring to the words, uh, words of the ambassador, referring to the term they use about Nigeria, the giant of Africa, with our educational uh, investment and commitment, we want to contribute that the giant um, of Africa can also become progressively and it's destined to be a giant of the world. So we want to contribute to the development of the incredible uh, Nigerian human capital. So we are very proud to be uh, connected with the Italian institution to play our small role. And once again, thank you all. Thank you to the ambassador. Thank you to the Consul General, to all the participants and the organizations. Have a great event. Thank you very much.